Once upon a time in the vast cosmos of Hindu mythology, gods and demons churned the ocean of milk in search of the nectar of immortality. This was no ordinary churning. It was a colossal task that required strength, unity, and above all, patience. The gods and demons, often at odds, came together for this common purpose, using the cosmic serpent Vasuki as the rope and Mount Mandara as the churning rod. As they churned, they faced numerous obstacles. The mountain began to sink, poisonous fumes filled the air, and fearsome creatures emerged from the ocean's depths. Rejection, if you will, at every turn. Yet they did not falter. They persevered, undeterred by the challenges that lay ahead, their eyes set on the prize, the nectar of immortality. This tale mirrors the journey of a job seeker. The ocean represents the job market, vast and full of potential. The churning, that's your search, your applications, your interviews. The poison and creatures, those are the rejections and negative comments that you may face along the way. Each rejection, each negative comment might feel as if the mountain is sinking, as if your efforts are in vain. But remember, just as the gods and demons did not let these hurdles deter them, neither should you. It's essential to keep churning, to keep applying, to keep interviewing. The nectar of immortality, your ideal job, awaits you at the end of this strenuous process. It's not about how many rejections you face, but how you handle them and keep moving forward. It's about the patience to understand that the right opportunity might take time to present itself. It's about the perseverance to keep going even when the going gets tough. And so the gods and demons learned that it was only through struggle and perseverance that they could achieve their goals. Just as the gods and demons faced hurdles in their journey, we too encounter rejections in our job search. Now, this may sound disheartening, but let's shift our perspective a bit. Like a sculptor chisels away at a stone to reveal the masterpiece within, rejections are the chisel strokes that shape our career path. They are not roadblocks, but stepping stones leading us towards our ideal job. Instead of viewing them as setbacks, we can choose to see them as opportunities to learn and grow. Consider this. A study conducted by Harvard Business Review found that individuals who faced rejection early in their career were more likely to achieve success later on. This is attributed to the resilience and adaptability they developed while navigating these initial hurdles. Thomas Edison, one of the greatest inventors of all time, once said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. This is the mindset we must adopt when facing rejection. Each no we encounter is simply a sign that we must readjust our approach, refine our skills, or redirect our efforts. It's also important to remember that rejection is not a reflection of our worth. Just as a key may not fit every lock, we may not be the right fit for every job, and that's okay. The key is to stay focused on our goal and continue to strive for it, regardless of the hurdles we face. Moreover, rejections can provide valuable feedback. They can highlight areas where we may need to improve, be it our interview skills, resume, or even our job search strategy. So the next time you encounter a rejection, don't let it deter you. Instead, take a moment to reflect on what you can learn from it. Use it as fuel to propel you forward on your journey. In the grand tapestry of your career, each rejection thread contributes to the intricate design of your professional life. Embrace it, learn from it, and keep moving forward. Remember, every rejection is a step closer to acceptance. In our story, the gods and demons faced negative comments from each other. Similarly, we may also face negative comments from potential employers and recruiters. These remarks can sting, but it's critical that we don't let them chip away at our self-esteem and confidence. Imagine, if the gods and demons had allowed the negativity to seep into their resolve during the great churning, the nectar of immortality might have remained out of reach, buried deep within the ocean of milk. But they didn't. They kept churning, and their perseverance paid off. Now let's bring it back to us. It's easy to crumble under harsh words or criticisms, but remember as the great British statesman Winston Churchill once said, Criticism may not be agreeable, but it is necessary. It fulfills the same function as pain in the human body. It calls attention to an unhealthy state of things. So instead of seeing criticism as a blow, let's view it as an opportunity for growth and improvement. A study by the University of Toronto found that people who can transform criticism into personal growth are more likely to succeed in their chosen fields. They viewed negative comments not as a reflection of their worth, but as feedback to help them improve. 
Remember, it's not about the number of times you stumble, but the number of times you get back up. So, next time a potential employer or recruiter throws a curveball of criticism your way, catch it, analyze it. Is there a nugget of truth hidden within that can help you grow? If so, seize it. If not, let it go. Don't allow the negativity to cloud your vision or derail your journey. Just like the gods and demons, we must not let negativity deter us from our path. Remember, every no brings you one step closer to a yes. Every setback is a setup for a comeback, and every rejection is just a redirection. So let's keep churning, let's keep growing, and let's keep moving forward. We've got this. Imagine if the gods and demons had given up on their quest for the nectar, they would have lost something invaluable. So, what do you stand to lose by giving up? The answer is simple yet profound. Firstly, you lose the opportunity to grow. Every rejection, every setback is an opportunity to learn to improve and to become better at what you do. Research conducted by Stanford University shows that people who view setbacks as opportunities for growth are more likely to succeed in the long run. So giving up robs you of these golden learning opportunities. Secondly, you lose the chance to discover your true potential. You see, the journey to your dream job is not just about getting that job. It's about discovering who you are, what you're capable of, and how far you can push yourself. By giving up, you're denying yourself the chance to unlock these facets of your identity. Thirdly, you lose the opportunity to make a difference. Every job, every role, is a chance to contribute to something bigger than yourself. It's a chance to make a difference in your own unique way. Giving up means letting go of this chance to bring about change, to leave your mark. Lastly, you lose the possibility of achieving your dreams. As American cultural anthropologist Margaret Mead once said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. But by giving up, you're letting go of this courage. You're letting go of your dreams. It's easy to give up when the going gets tough. But remember, the gods and demons in the ancient tale didn't give up their quest for the nectar, no matter how challenging it became. And in the end, they achieved what they set out for. Giving up means losing out on potential opportunities. So never give up. You never know. Your next attempt could be the one that lands you your dream job. The gods and demons didn't give up. They persevered until they achieved their goal. Now let's apply this to our own journey, our job search process. Perseverance, my friends, is the fuel that keeps us moving forward despite the odds. It's the steady flame that lights our path when the road seems dark and daunting. It's the anchor that keeps us grounded when the waves of rejection and negative comments threaten to sweep us away. You see, perseverance isn't just about gritting your teeth and pushing through the pain. It's about maintaining hope in the face of adversity. It's about standing tall, dusting off the negativity and taking one more step forward. It's about believing that with each rejection, we're one step closer to the acceptance we seek. As the great American inventor Thomas Edison once said, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. This quote perfectly encapsulates the essence of perseverance. If we give up, we'll never know how close we were to landing that dream job. Studies support this too. A research conducted by the University of Sheffield found that individuals who showed perseverance and resilience were more likely to secure a job than those who didn't. It's a testament to the power of not giving up, of continuing to knock on doors until one opens. Perseverance is about being patient, knowing that good things take time. It's about understanding that the job search process is just that, a process. It's not a sprint, but a marathon. And as in any marathon, the key to success is to keep going, to keep running, no matter how tough the race gets. So when you face rejection or negative comments, remember the gods and demons from the ancient tale. Remember their determination, their unyielding spirit. Draw strength from their journey and let it fuel your own. Perseverance is not just about not giving up, it's about keeping the faith and believing in your abilities. Keep running your race and remember the finish line may be just around the corner. The gods and demons knew they had to act immediately. Delay would mean losing out on the nectar. Just as in this mythical tale, when it comes to your job search, immediate action is crucial. It's easy to fall into the trap of waiting for the right moment or the perfect opportunity.